Hey everybody, Michael and Jaden here from Extreme Diecast Racing. Today I've got a mail call for you. This is the 2002 Collector's Edition and includes all 114 models. Got this thing off eBay for an incredible price. When I won, I was actually surprised that it got sent to me. I thought they might just keep it instead of sending it. Because, yeah, basically 40 cents on the car is what I got this for. So, pretty awesome, and that includes the shipping price. So we're going to open this up. There's three layers in here and go through all the cars. All right. This ought to be fun. Yeah, eventually, most of these guys will end up in a race in the future. Not sure when that'll be, but we'll do it. I have not gone through these yet, so... That'll be fun. And I'm not sure if there were treasure hunts back in 2002 when this came out. So we'll be on the lookout to see if we can find anything. Speed Shark is the first one here. Yeah, it looks like a plastic base, metal top, fantasy car. I don't think I've got this guy. Now I have raced this guy before. This is a uh, the no matter what. This guy is a plastic uh, base, metal top, but he's got, if I remember correctly, it looks like the back is slightly wider than the front, so he kind of rides on the track to one side. Not a good racer. Interesting one to look at, though. Not one of my favorites. Here we've got the 40-something. 40, 40 painted on it, fantasy car. Plastic base, metal top. Oh yeah, this is a Nissan Z. Yeah, Ethan, my oldest son, had a couple of these when he was a kid. And they're decent track cars. I'm not sure how fast they are. So we'll race this guy and we'll find out. Next up, we've got Fantasy Car. It's called Eye Candy. Definitely not one of my favorite fantasy cars. We have a couple of these in the collection. This is a metal bottom plastic top. Actually, that green might be metal also. Not a lot of weight to it, though. It's not too light, but not real heavy. Now, this is an interesting one. This is the Volkswagen New Beetle CUP. And we have one of these open. There's a little... Uh, clip there if you push on that thing the top comes off and it just has like a roll cage take the whole top off of this it's pretty cool decent weight to it next up we've got the side draft metal top plastic base fantasy car this is a fun uh, Fantasy one. This is Torpedo Jones. I have uh, one or two of these in the collection. So here's the 40 Ford Coupe. Yeah, this actually has quite a bit of weight to it. It has a plastic base, but there's a lot of metal on the top of it. It's got a nice fire uh, paint job to it. And this one is super tuned. Looks like it might have been in the sun a little too long. The plastic's turned a little bit yellow. Really low design to this guy. Low clearance. Metal top, plastic bottom to it. And here we've got the Hot Wheels Prototype 12. Got a fin on the back, spoiler. This is a metal on metal car. It's got decent weight to it. Ought to be fun to race this one. I don't think I've got one of these opened. Next up, we've got kind of a classic truck. It's called Super Smooth. Got a few of these guys, and they're 
They have decent wheels on them. Metal top, plastic base. I don't know if you... There, there's a nice paint job on the back of the bed there. And here we've got a Toyota RSC. Always like this one. Pretty neat model. Plastic base, metal top to it. Great design. Yeah, this is a decent track car. Ethan again has a couple of these. They're in his bucket of cars when he was a kid. 68 Cougar. Decent, decent car on the track. Ought to be fun to race him. Next up is a Ford Focus. Racing version. Huge spoiler on the back of this thing. It's got a plastic base, metal top to it. And here we've got the 70 Chevelle SS. The Butterfinger uh, paint job on it. And it's a plastic base and a metal top. If I remember correctly, there's four of those uh, candy cars. We'll see if they're all in here. This is the Lotus Esprit. Yep. Plastic base, metal top, great looking car. Yeah, that is a nice one. Got a fin on the back. Yep, ought to be fun to race that guy. And here we've got the Jester. Definitely not one of my favorites. It's kind of skinny in the front. Not a huge fan of the design. It's really wide in the back. I'm not even... I think it might fit on the track, but you can just see how the difference and when you get that where it's skinny on the front it just rides one side of the track all the way down it really slows it down so not my favorite type of design at least for racing here we've got the Celine S7 I do like the looks of this pretty sure this is a fantasy car I don't think they made this. I'll have to maybe look it up and see if that's the case, if this is truly a fantasy, or if this is based off a real model. Plastic base, metal top. Great looking car though. Here we've got the Lancer Stratos. I always like this car. Looks like a plastic base, metal top. Yep, really nice looking car. And here we've got the 2001 Mini Cooper. This is a metal on metal. These, I've got two or three of these open and they're pretty quick. So, decent weight to them, especially for their size. And here we've got a custom 59 Cadillac. Plastic base, metal top. Not a huge fan of this type of casting. They're not that good to race and it's just not my favorite type of vehicle. So anyways, it's there. Altered State. We've raced these guys in the past and some of them do all right. Uh, metal on metal, not much plastic on, on this at all, except the wheels in this uh, roll cage on top. Yep, I like this one. Oh, here's another of the candy uh, deco. So this is Baby Ruth, and it's the Chevy Pro Stock Truck. Metal top on this, plastic base. Yep, pretty good paint job. And we've got the Chrysler Pronto here. These are actually really nice on the track, especially the tracks with uh, curves. 
yeah they they do all right so it's nice to get another one of these nice paint job on it and here we've got jaded so this is a plastic base metal top kind of a fantasy classic looking car yeah nice paint job on it here's another fantasy monoposto we've raced these guys they did well on our crisscross uh, plastic base metal top Ballistic, another fantasy, plastic base, metal top on this guy. So, I think they stopped making Ferraris, probably early 2000s. It looks like we have a Ferrari in this one. It's a Ferrari PF, or P4, number 24 on this. This is a metal top and a plastic bottom. Always like to get Ferraris in the collection. And here we've got the custom 69 Chevy. Decent weight to this guy. Plastic base, metal top. Sometimes these trucks are pretty fast. Twin Mill 2. He-Man Deco on it. Masters of the Universe on the front. Yeah, Jaden really loves twin mills, so. Kind of a nice one, plastic base, metal top to it. Now these guys are decent track cars. This is the Open Roadster. This is metal on metal. Metal base, metal top. Yep, I like these guys. Nice design to them. Thirty-two Ford Vicky. This is a metal base and a metal top. Decent weight. It's got the red line wheels on it. Still quite a few to go here. Uh, Jet Threat 3.0. I like Jet Threats. They're metal on metal. Low profile. And here we've got Backdraft. It's got a surfboard in the back. Metal base. Pretty sure that's a metal top on it also. Might be a plastic top on that. Oh, we've got a bus. Surfing school bus. Yeah, one of our first races was a surfing school bus race. And it's actually got quite a few views. People still watch that video. So this is uh, this is one of the buses in that race. And there's a whole bunch of these. We have a whole bunch of them, and they're all different decos. They're pretty cool. You can see the back of it. Plastic base, but pretty decent weight with this metal top. Montezuma. Yeah, it's got, it uh, looks like, it's got a card on the front, looks like uh, Jack of Hearts on there. Plastic base, metal top. Muscle Tone. Metal top, plastic base on this guy. Pretty sure that's a fantasy car, don't know what that would be. It's a lot of fantasy cars in this so far, but we got a ways to go. 64 Riviera. Plastic base, metal top. Hooligan. So, kind of a sports coupe. Modified. This is metal on metal, this guy. Decent weight for how big he is. And here we've got the 57 Cadillac, Cadillac Eldorado. Uh, Rogum. This is a metal top to it. Hot wheels on the, on the trunk. 
plastic base. Oh, this is a nice one. Nissan Skyline. Plastic base, metal top. Yep, I like that one. And get a few more of these over here. Okay, here we've got the 32 Ford Sedan Delivery. Yeah, I've got quite a few of these. And they got different paint jobs on them. It says the good, the bad, and the speedy on the side. There's a guy on the top there. This is a metal on metal car. Looks like the runners are plastic, but the uh, base is metal. Here we have the armored truck. Metal base plastic top on this one. I think the back does open on that. Oh, and this is kind of like the Volkswagen bug that we looked at. This one's called Hyperliner. There's a little switch there. You push on that, and the top comes off, and then you have a roll cage. But yeah, this is a nice one. I like those wheels with a good year on them. See the front of it, then the back of it, it's the top of it. Yep, I like that one. Now here's the third of the candy cars. This is the Pro Stock Firebird Spree paint job. And this one is metal on metal, if I remember correctly. This is Overboard 454. Yeah, we've raced quite a few of these in the past. Plastic base, metal top. And here we've got SYD Meads, oh, Sid Meads Centennial 400 Limo. So that's kind of a futuristic fantasy limo. Plastic base to it, metal top to it, pretty long, really low profile. There's the back of it. Here we've got a helicopter, proper chopper. Yeah, this, uh, when you take it out of the package, you can pull off, pull back the tail so it extends all the way out. Oh, kind of a fun model. Custom service, it says on the side, planethotwheels.com up there. So here's a Corvette SR2, convertible, plastic base, metal top. And there's the back. All right, there's still a lot of cars here. A whole lot of cars. Yeah, we're looking at every car from 2002. All 114 that came out that year. And this is called the Grillionaire. Come and get it. And Saucy Sanders, it says. Rolling Roundup uh, Rodeo Grill. Yeah, I kind of like collecting these uh, food trucks. Plastic base, metal top, decent weight to it. And here we've got the 57 Roadster. This is definitely a fantasy car. Metal top, metal bottom to it. It's got these really tiny wheels in the front. Yeah, fantastic. Fantasy car. It says, uh, this is Masters of the Universe. It says Skeletor on the back. So it has a, you can kind of see Skeletor on the hood. So we've had two Masters of the Universe. He-Man. 
This is a 70 Plymouth Roadrunner. It has hot rod on the back. This is a plastic base metal top. And this one is called Seared Tuner. It says Time Wizard on the side. It's got a it's like a wizard on there on the paint job. Pretty nice looking car actually. Yeah. This is a plastic base metal top. And here we've got power pistons. We've raced quite a few of these guys. Fantasy car, metal base, pretty sure that's a plastic top to it. And in this year there are, you can see some of these are sets of four, like the Candy one and the He-Man one. So here's another one of them. And I don't even know how to pronounce that, yu gu -Oh. So anyways, this is one of four. We've probably gone through one or two of those already. And here is, this is a 97 Corvette. This is purple. Plastic base, metal top to it. And next up is the 3 Window 34. This is 2 of 4. So we've seen at least one or two with the American flag on it. This is one of that series. This has a metal base and a metal top to it. Decent weight. Evil Twin. Definitely not one of my favorites. Plastic base, metal top to it. Sometimes they have cool paint jobs, so this one's a decent paint job on it. Now this one is a Speed Demon. Really happy to get another one of these. They actually seem to be kind of hard to get. I've purchased a lot of cars and I only have a few of them. Honda Sprocket. Yeah, this guy is fast. So ought to be fun to race him. Has a plastic base, but just really fast. Slingshot. We've raced a ton of these guys. It's got a metal base and a metal top to it, so it is metal on metal. And here we've got the Hyundai Spider Concept. So uh -oh, convertible, got a plastic uh, base and a metal top. I don't know if they ever made one of these. I have to look it up. And this is another one of a set of four. This is two of four of the Hammered Coupe. This is the card edition, so we've seen a couple of ones with the card deco on them. So, Fantasy. Oh, that does look like metal on metal on this. It's got some weight to it. All right. We have a lot of cars over here still. Next up is the 71 Plymouth CTX. You know what? This thing is a treasure hunt. It's got rubber wheels on it. That is cool. Yep, rubber wheels. Thrill Riders. It's got a plastic base and a metal top. And you can see... It says two of 12 cars, and it's got the treasure hunt on the side. So, 71 Plymouth GTX, that is cool. Set that one aside, Jaden. Oh, here we've got the Punos LMP1 Roadster S. And this is a treasure hunt, too. These are... That is really cool. It's got the rubber wheels on it. That's pretty sweet. So there are treasure hunts in here and it looks like there might be 12 of them. That's awesome. 
Here we've got a super tsunami. And this is kind of a similar to a Toyota Supra. I actually think it is a Toyota Supra. They just gave it a different name. Plastic base, metal top. I've got a huge collection of these guys. I had a Supra through college. It was awesome. Um, this is the Demon. This is a metal on metal car. It's red line. It's got the red line wheels on it. So there's four red lines. I think we've seen one of them already. So this is the second one. Here's another of the He-Man collection. Man-at-Arms on the side, on the paint job there. You can see him. Yeah, kind of like this model. This is a plastic base, metal top, fantasy car. See the back side of it there. Here is Moto Crossed. Metal on metal. I like this one. It's just your main line, 31 of 42, it looks like. See the back, the front. And here we've got uh, Phaeton. It's got a cool looking snake on there. This is, uh, that could be a metal base. It's hard to tell. Metal top for sure. Yep, kind of like that one. And here is another one from the card collection. Dodge Charger RT. Pretty sweet. Plastic, base, metal top. And here is the Pony Up. I've always liked this one a lot. This is a metal on metal. Decent weight to it. Opened up a bunch of these years ago. Played, gee, Ethan played with them a lot. And uh, so we need to open an, a new one up and see if they're fast or not. Roger Dodger. I always like this one too. This is the this is the bowling. It says uh, three of four of the bowling. This is plastic base metal top, but it has a cool metal engine to it. So I've always liked this one. And here we've got Dodge Power Wagon. Plastic base, metal top, pretty big model. And this is a... It's like 4 of 4 of something. Here we've got the 58 Corvette. The engine opens up on this one, you can see. And it's got a plastic base, metal top. There's the front of it, the back of it. Screaming Hauler. This thing's pretty heavy. Metal top, metal base, fantasy truck. And this one's 404 of something. Not sure what that is up there. Here's another one for the bowling series. This is uh, so fast. Kind of a hot rod. Metal base, metal top to it. And this one opens up too. You can take off the top and see into it. So pretty cool. Here is a Chevy Nomad. And this is 404 of uh, kind of the racing. Oh, this is the red line car. So it's got the red line wheels on it. Metal base, metal top, decent weight. I like that one a lot. Here's a, I think the fourth of the He-Man version. So it's one of four, but we've looked at a number of them. You can see one of the He-Man characters on there. It says Masters of the Universe on the top of it. Plastic base, metal top. And this is called the 41 Willie's Coupe. And here we've got the 33 Ford. This is of the card collection also, number 404. 
can see the cards painted on it on the top and on the side. Metal base, metal top. Pretty good weight. Midnight Auto. Midnight Odo, I should say. This is a metal on metal. Always like this one. Kind of a classic modified car. See a little bit of the front there, the back. Okay, here's another one of the red lines. This is Sidekick. I really like this one. It's super fast, metal on metal. Special feature you pull on the back and this, uh, this uh, side pulls out where the seat is. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a pretty fast one. And here we've got Rigor Motor. So Fantasy. I like this one actually. It's got, I think that is a metal base on it and a metal top. See the back side of it and the front. Cool paint job on it. And here we've got the 68 El Camino. This has also got the American flag on it. So this is uh, the American flag series, 4 of 4. Looks like plastic base, metal top to it. This one's really heavy. This is a power plower. It's a metal base, metal top, lots of weight. Fortunately, it's really wide. Don't think it fits on the track, but pretty cool truck. It's got a spare tire in the back of it. Cool paint job with a bull on the front. Oh, this one was in the sun. It looks like hydroplane. Yeah, it's got some wheels on it, but it's really wide. Won't fit down the track. Yeah, this is a decent track car. It's Rocket Oil Special. Metal on metal. It's got some exposed wheels, so the wheels get bent if you play with them too much. But I really like this one quite a bit. Nice to get another one of those. And here we've got Tantrum. Little convertible here. Uh, fantasy car. This is a plastic base metal top. Kind of like that one. And here we've got the Honda Civic. So Honda Civics, they're pretty fast sometimes. So plastic base, metal top, tuners. Uh, it's part of the four cars in the tuner series. Yep, like that one. Here we've got the Purple Passion. Plastic base, metal top. White wall tires, it looks like. This is uh, the Hot Rods 104 from 2002. Here's another, uh, this is the Phantom, but this is the Treasure Hunt version. It's cool, it's got uh, rubber wheels on it, metal top, metal base. God, this is a, I really got a good deal on this thing if there's really 12 Treasure Hunts. This is number three so far. That's cool. Here's another Treasure Hunt. This is the Tell Dragger. This is 10 of 12 cars. Got the rubber wheels on it. That is cool. This one is a brick. Really heavy. Here's another treasure hunt. Fat Fendered 40. Now these guys are really fast. I'm, treasure hunts aren't with rubber wheels though. So we won't be opening up these guys. Metal on metal. Got a cold paint job to it. Oh, that's a nice one. There's another treasure hunt. 40 Ford. 
This one is 9 of 12. It's got a plastic base, rubber wheels, cool paint job to it. It's got flames coming off the tires there. That's pretty nice. Yeah, this talk about a good deal. Here is Treasure Hunt 5 of 12. This is the Ford Thunderbolt. It's got the rubber wheels. Looks like a plastic base metal top to it. You can see that paint job there. There's the back. It's got painted tail lights, which is cool. Yeah, that's nice. Here's another treasure hunt. This is a Lotus Project M250. Yeah, beautiful. Looks like it's got the rubber tires and they've got some red lines on them. Great looking car. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice one to have in the collection for sure. Here we've got the Custom Cougar. It's like a plastic base, metal top, big old uh, spoiler on the back. You can see the front end of that. You can see through the top and see the engine. Here's another treasure hunt. This is the Mini Cooper. Metal on metal. It's got the rubber wheels with the red lines. Really cool paint job. Flames on it. This is 11 of 12 of the treasure hunts from 2002. And here we've got the Mustang Cobra. Not sure what that series is. This is three of four of whatever that series is you can see over there. But this is a really wide Mustang, kind of blocky. plastic base metal top to it. And here we've got the Deuce Roadster. This is metal on metal. These guys are actually decently fast for how big they are. Really nice design on the metal base to it. Here's another treasure hunt La Troca. This is one of 12. It's got a gold plastic base, rubber wheels, really nice paint job to it. You can see the T for the treasure hunt there. It's like Hot Wheels is on the back uh, of the oh, back of the bed there. That's nice. And here we've got the Toyota Celica. Got spoiler on the black, plastic base, metal top. This is uh, 404 of the tuners. You can see the back of it there. Ah, here we've got a funny car, Firebird funny car, super fast, metal on metal, lots of weight to it. Glad one of these came out in 2002, so I've got another one. It's great. All kinds of weight to that guy. Here we've got uh, Vulture, fantasy car. This is three of four of the Snake series. It's got a snake paint job on it. Plastic base, metal top. Pretty good on the track, though. And we've got the 65 Corvette. I really like this one. Plastic base, metal top. One of four, there must be four Corvettes in this. I think we've seen at least three of them. This may be the fourth one. But that is a nice paint job on that one. I haven't, don't have that one. Happy to add that one to the collection. And here's another one. This is uh, Fandango. Kind of a some type of an SUV type vehicle. Yugu O. This is a three of four of that. Plastic base, metal top. See the back end, front end. 
And here we've got 50, 59 Chevy Impala, one of four of the Horseshoe series. Got a horse on the side of it. Plastic base, metal top. See the back end and the front end. Here's another treasure hunt. Uh, Anglia panel. Really nice looking rubber wheels on this thing. Gonna get a closer look at that. Yeah, it says Hot Wheels treasure hunt on the wheels. You can see that. That is cool. Plastic base, metal top. This is 12 by 12. Oh, I like this one. This is the Crazy 8. Great track car. Metal top. Well, metal on the top. The engine is all plastic. Metal base. That's a nice one. I like that one a lot. And here we've got MST Suzuka. So uh, this is a fantasy car, I think got a plastic base metal top to it and this is three or four of the tuners and here's probably the last one of the Corvette series this is the 63 Corvette it's 404 you can see over here on the side yeah this model has been around for a long time it used to be metal on metal back in the old days anyways this is a plastic on on metal some of these guys can be pretty fast on the track. And here is Grave Rave Wagon. This is four of four of that series. We've seen a bunch of those. Well, we've seen four of them at this point. And this is heavy. It's a plastic base, but metal top. But there's a lot of metal up there, and the door's open on this guy. This model's been around for a long time, too. I like that one quite a bit. And here we've got Diora 2. I've always liked the Dioras. This is uh, three of four of the American paint job series. We've got two surfboards, one blue and one red up there. Yeah, that's a nice paint job on that one. Plastic base, metal top. And this is our last car. So we've got the So Fine, two of four of the bowling series. And this is a plastic base and a metal top. So we're going to hurry and review those uh, treasure hunts. We'll see if we can get them in order. How, see if we can find... I think the you could look and find the next two out of 12, JD. Here's La Troca. This was the first treasure... This is the treasure hunt, uh, La Troca, one of 12. Pretty cool. We'll just review these guys really quickly. You found the two of 12 yet? Uh, let's see, there's two of right there. I don't think we have a two. We might not have them all. We have 11. We're missing one, it looks like. Unless there's one over there, Jaden. Can you take a look and see if there's one in the box? So we think this is either 2 or 3 of 12. It's hard to tell. Looks like the package is slightly damaged. This is the 71 Plymouth GTX. And here's the 4 of 12. Lotus Project MR250. Five of 12. Ford Thunderbolt. Six of 12. Panos LMP1 Roadster S. Here's the 7 of 12, the Phantom. Eight of 12, the Fat Fendered 40. Nine of 12, 40 Ford. 10 of 12, Tell Dragger. Yeah, 
11 to 12, the Mini Cooper. And 12 to 12, Anglia Panel. So unless we missed one, we didn't get all 12. We got 11 of 12 of the treasure hunts, but uh, pretty cool. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, Jaden. Well, going back to the cars, we found that last treasure hunt. So we w we reviewed this one, didn't realize it was a treasure hunt. This is number three of 12, the 57 Roadster. It does have the rubber wheels on it. So that's pretty cool. We got all 12 of them. I actually organized these now so you can see them. So let me pick this up. And here are the 12 treasure hunts. That is a really good deal to get 12 treasure hunts, all rubber wheels, awesome paint jobs on them. So we got all of those. Here are the mainline just cars of the series. So there's a bunch of those. So there's all the groups of four, and these guys were not part of the groups of four. These ones have the number one symbol. So all these ones in this column here have that number one symbol. And then these ones over here are just part of the group that uh, was released. Nothing special about them and the fact that they're not part of a group of four. But you can see all of these groups of four here. And this first one are red lines. So these are all metal on metal, kind of classic Hot Wheel cars. So I really like all of those. They're quality. Got great wheels on them, metal on metal. Then this next one is the group of four of the hot rods. So you can see these guys. These are all different hot rods. Then we've got the ones that are all the cards. So the playing card versions with paint, paint jobs. Then these are all bowling design. You can see with the bowling ball up there. Something to do with bowling on each of these. And these are the four Corvettes right here. So that's a pretty nice set. And these are the candy ones. So we've got uh, Crunch Bar, Spree, Baby Ruth, Butterfinger. And this is just something to do with Hot Wheels, HotWheels.com, something like that. Hot Wheels World. And these ones all have paint jobs having to do with skulls, bones. So each one of these has a nice paint job to them. You can see the kind of the skull and bones up there. And here's the four He-Man, He-Man cars. So all four of those have different characters from the Masters of the Universe. And this one, I'm not sure what that is up there. Some type of oil. So these are hot rod type cars, just fast cars, I guess. And these ones all have the American flag painted on them and these are all western you can see the horseshoe up there all of these have something to do with the wild west and these ones all have snakes on them yep you can see the snake on them up there and then these are all uh kind of i think most japanese cars it's called tuners so the celica so that must be a real car then um so, Skyline right there. And then finally, we've got the Yu Guo, and I'm probably slobbering how that's uh, pronounced. These all have the uh, same type of paint scheme on them. So, pretty cool. So, it looks like in 2002, the 114 cars, they did a bunch of sets of four. Just did a bunch of normal cars, and they did 12 treasure hunts. So pretty good buy, 40 cents on the car. I was really happy to get this one. Okay, thanks for watching a really long video, guys. These guys will mostly end up getting raced, except for these rubber wheel guys. They're, they won't be fast. We'll leave them in the package. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.